well, it seems like a common question for for medical students whether they can uh, take the USMLE Step One uh, during during med school. One would think it's hard enough to go through medical school in a separate country, but on top of that, also plan for examinations for a totally different country. Uh, the fact is that every country seems to have a slightly different approach in testing as well as uh, the approach to medical education. So the task could be rather daunting for anyone who is looking to possibly move to a different country to uh, practice medicine. But nevertheless, medical knowledge is generally the same all over, and uh, the examination sy examination systems may be different, but it could certainly be possible to prepare for two different types of exams. However, it would be daunting to say the least. And like it is said, if there is a will, there is a way. However, every person and individual should judge for themselves and ascertain whether they have the capability to do an additional monumental task. So medical school itself is testing enough and it is not only considerations for your of your time and energy investment it is also financial and also if for some reason if you do not score highly in an international exam that may not go down too well in many cases however it's for the individual to judge and ascertain uh, their own capabilities for someone who is surely a rising star or if their capacity for hard work persistence and perseverance is visibly much more apparent and they can judge for themselves and they can put their head down when they finally make their plans on their future goals, then I would say go for it. But for many, I would say if you do want to eventually go and work for a foreign uh, country, do and complete your graduation and at the same time during medical school, read the books that you would for that uh, particular country. However, it takes a certain type of person to be able to take two different worlds together and if you are that person, you can certainly uh, do that. For example, it's possible to do step one as part of uh, the United States medical license examinations at the end of your basic sciences years, for example, in countries like India, Philippines, and Pakistan. But you will need to be very, very dedicated. And also depends on how fast of a learner uh, that you are. I would say that if you are extremely goal oriented and willing to put in the hard work and if you also see a if you also have a mentor or somebody you look up to um, as to someone who has taken this path I would recommend that you start preparing for your step one the first day of medical school pick up uh, the first aid or the Kaplan or any other review book and it would surely supplement and help out with your own medical school curriculum um, the way to Go with this is to start off early, but having said that, I would suggest that experience the first month or two of medical school before you hit these books so that you actually get well grounded in what is required by your own country and your own examination system. So medical school is itself extremely competitive and demanding. So in under any situation, your scores or grades in your medical school should not be affected by your step or foreign country endeavors if you do feel that you're not able to maintain a good balance and you are your and your scores and grades are suffering i would advise against continuing with step one preparation and there's no harm in following the crowd in this by going for your steps after graduation and because the most essential aspects and the need to understand is that you must score highly in your step one otherwise for foreign graduates, it is very, very difficult to match into a residency program with low scores. But still, having said that, some other countries may actually not have a basic sciences requirement and they would require uh, just um, the clinical subjects. In that case, you may not need to burn yourself out early um, on, uh, but still, of course, keep exploring and have the books that you would need for that particular country always in hand. So it may end up quicker for you to eventually uh, appearing in uh, those required examinations. So anyways, I hope this provides some material for further thought and personal assessment on what is possible for anyone who is looking to get to a separate country in the future.